And joining tonight, we have Gate, Jack, and Lisa Hanamore. They are the only three that were able to show up up tonight. Uh, Lisa Hanamore hasn't been able to join us for a while, so we'll be playing a lot of catch up for her, for her to get her up to speed on all the happening and whatnot. Unfortunately, he doesn't tell me all of his things. There's some things. Wait, is uh, Casey Drake is unfortunately ill, and Dark Star is once again entirely too busy. And cannot join us tonight. So, just the three of us, and we're going to be doing in a mostly like theater of the mind role playing stuff. Don't have an exact battle plan for what to have happen tonight, so I'm going to let you guys kind of guide us along on what you want to have happen. But we'll, uh, I will start you off with, uh, Evely. Here, you're down here, just teleported in. in. Got told by Varen, hey, those guys have been at the keep for a while. You mind taking them some food and drink to make sure they don't starve or death or anything? I come bearing booze. <laughs> and food. Alright, so Nicholas and, and Abner, you see the Evelier teleport in. It's been a while since Evelier has been around you guys. Evelier's been pretty busy at the tavern and with their uh, internship as uh oh. Huh. Hey, Evelier. Um. Hey guys, I come bearing food. Well, oh, great. So, I think we're the uh, the quality of the food here can't exactly be the best and because of um present company one of the goblins just up the search and I cave over a hot stove and the thanks I get seriously who cooks over stoves open fire all the way not allowed to work within a uh, open fire anymore not after what's happened but we do talk Hello, uh, beefy one. Welcome to the house of Overlord Death. Ally or slave? Well, sure as hell not a slave. Hey, Delm, you want some food? We're going to assume Delmarev accepts the food because if there is not here. Yeah. Delmarev gladly starts digging in. Hmm. Evelier does whatever the secret tavern keep tavern worker warlock handshake is. I feel like they have a secret handshake by now. <laughs> All right. Surprisingly, no one has talked about uh, secret handshake, so uh, up to you guys to determine if there is in fact a secret handshake or not. Well, this would be between him and Tabatama, as his fellow warlock tavern worker. <laughs> It is a five of highness. I don't know. I've got nothing in on the spot. I didn't but say it was fancy. You know what? A high five seems uh, pretty original. Well, this is a, a fantasy study. A series of vague hand gestures and mysterious glances. It's just probably like one of those double high fives where they then grab each other's hands and strike a cute pose for a moment. <laughs> you would do that. Like, I know I'm adorable. Evelier, no Evelier knows he's adorable too. But who is more adorable, Tabatama or Evelier? She might be more adorable. He's sexier. Or sexier. Also, someone's apparently in chips. Yes, I am. These are these are stream crimes. Feels like every time we have a session, one of you eats chips. Well, I'm, I'm... it is still a D and D session, so yes. Fair enough. Fair enough. We have a point. 
I'm very close to making popcorn, so... Oh, no. oh so, uh, uh, Evelier, we're, uh, we're just about to go chuck, uh, chuck a whole bunch of random things into magic lava. Do you want to join us? Sure, why are you throwing them into lava? We, uh, have, a, we have a blacksmith now, and he's gonna make the lava into items. Oh. Cool. Yeah, I'll come. Uh, cool. Hmm. I think uh, it helps if you have actual people to throw in as well, so maybe we can convince some goblins to... <laughs> <laughs> and... And or no. Alright, we'll see what we get without sacrificing goblins. I mean, oh, just because just... the previous overlord did it doesn't mean that you have to. <laughs> Come on, Andrew. I mean, I imagine it depends on what sort of item you want, right? Mm. Okay, I guess we're gonna uh, pop down there then. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, so this is where the theory of the mind comes in because I haven't made any maps for the rest of this keep yet. I'm going to have to do that because you guys ended up taking the due to <laughs> deciding. <laughs> Deciding to proclaim one-on-one -on -one combat, this Overlord and winning, and then Ander and Nicholas deciding to go raid the treasure room. Boom! Uh, the fight was happening. Best idea ever. Oh, it, it, there was not. There, there didn't seem to be any problem with splitting the party. I mean, we're still alive. We're not killing goblins and. In an entire purely point, your efforts in stealing things end up pointless because they end up belonging to you anyways. Well, well this, the see, the thing is, it wasn't pointless because it was goblins who thought they could be obstacles to me. <laughs> Roll intimidate on the guards. <laughs> Tiny man wearing a wolf skull on your head. Sure. Uh. Retroactive intimidation to see if they fear you now. I doubt it. No. The goblin just rolls their eyes at you as you pass. As one of them flips you off behind your back. All right. Well, I mean, I am three feet tall. It's hard to be scared of something that size. Yes. So again, you're talking to goblins. You also tend to be three feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them no, are tall had, goblins, some of them aren't three feet tall, some of them are taller than that. Anyways, you some of them are. Uh, sorry, continue. Fuck. Did I make you forget uh, what you were gonna say? Perhaps. I think the guy whose name was Gobralt? Gobralt. Hey, hey Gobralt! Find Gobralt sleeping in the cor in a corner of the fort, Burge. Just kind of laying on the ground, on one bottle in his hand, hitting hammer in the other, snoring loudly. Hang on, I have. Point of being drunk if you intend to sleep through it. Hang on, I have the perfect idea. Yes, we should step. Oh, what's your idea? <laughs> <laughs> Just got this blacksmith, and you're going to stab him. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to make him fall on the ground. He's already on the ground. Oh, oh I thought he was harder. sleeping. I thought he was sleeping in a cough. No, he's just sleeping in the corner. All right, I'm gonna kick him. Okay, you kick him, and he grunts and grunts and kicks back, and then rolls over. I'm gonna kick him again. Wake up! Oh no way! Oh, yeah. I use press the digitation to create the sound of a tooting bagpipe. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm awake and I'm ready. And I'm... He's not here. Works every time. Nice. Hello. We're here to toss yeah. random garbage in your forge. Okay. Pretty good. I guess you could use garbage. 
Well, what we're looking for is for you to make shit out of the garbage we throw in. So, throwing garbage, gonna get garbage stuff. I know something to make anything out of it. I mean, right. I suppose we'll put some you useful stuff in there. intimidating some of the, well, some of the goblins and hobgoblins to lava again, but I don't know if they'll be doing that. At... Hmm. All right. Why don't you tell us how this forge works for us to make useful shit? Forge is, is a very special. It takes the essence of whatever is thrown into the lava, smelts it from metal, metal, or other material, what have you, provided I have the proper smelting device, and the whatnot, fills it into that metal, which I then can shape into an object, item, um, usually weapons, burn the light, but I've, I've been known to do a little bit of accessory. Also, for some reason, it, I randomly end up in I don't know why. There's so many tea caps. No, I think you're overly prepared for a tea party. Seriously, yep. are there ever enough tea kettles in life? Trust me. There's such a thing as I've officially made two. Only when you have more kettles than cups to pour the tea in. Oh, hmm. have you seen cups around here? So you should start making teacups instead of tea kettles. Those are made well, from ceramics. Can't forge ceramics. Maybe I can. I haven't tried. Why even make it out of ceramics? Just make it out of metal. Well, then it's more of a mug than a cup. No, because okay, so teacups are icky. It. And mugs are big. Well, then it's a halfling's mug. Okay, fine. Excuse me? Who <laughs> <laughs> want a pint at the, at the end anyway? Excuse you what? Never mind. Uh, does anyone want to start tossing garbage in first? Because I have an idea. You know what? Sure, I'll toss in garbage first. Well, well hold on. What, what are you wanting to get out of what you're tossing in? I'm thinking of uh, getting a uh, an ar a new armor. armor, something medium. Yeah, something medium. Hey, uh, me. One moment. Uh, here. here. Goes over to his little uh, workbench, starts rummaging down, pulling out like various schematics and whatnot. And it's like, okay, so I gotta measure you. Uh, All right. He, like, he instantly up, wanders he around you and starts taking your measurements, wrapping the, the tape around your midsection and around your arm. He's like, flex, please. Yeah, he he lifts his arm, flex, whatever um, the goblin wants. Okay, how much give do you want in the groin? What, what, what does that mean? Want the armor to hook back to your manhood or not? Oh. Um. You're not sure. You'll you'll never know when that'll come in handy. All right. On the optional capacity belt, then. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> though. What he clearly needs is a cod piece. <laughs> Brault looks over to Evelier. Looks over to Nicholas. Slowly looks down at his waist. And is like takes the measuring tape. And is like. Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? Look, I'm just make imagining it... this like this elongated spike that just drags along the ground <laughs> as he's walking. <laughs> hey, some historical cod pieces are ridiculous, but to be fair, <laughs> they were a legit part of armor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cod, cod. piece. All right. Cod piece. Uh, any specific design? Uh, not really. Just make it, just make it stylish, or as stylish as you can. Grassy and a, a uh, 
Goblin Smith, who's used to working with the souls of his brethren and to forge his materials to make a nice design for you. <laughs> yeah. I think something fairly simple, but comfortable, with just a little bit of detail work to draw the eye to. I'm hmm. sorry, are you, are you the one getting the armor, or am I? <laughs> well, someone has to offer aesthetic advice. <laughs> little bit of detail. Okay, now I have to roll something to see how ridiculous it up. Besides, I could have told him to give me my shape like a new. I rolled a 13. I don't know how to interpret that, but it's hilarious. Okay. Got unlucky number. News. Okay, so. So, uh. What kind of. You said medium style armor, uh. Specific kind, or do you have in mind? And you know what? What do you want to do with it? What do you want it to accomplish beyond being just armor? I'm sorry. Oh. Can you can you say that again? I said, what kind of armor do you want, and what do you want to get to accomplish beyond just being armor? Well. For now, just give me a little, uh, if, still a little drunk. That's fine. I'm honestly not sure what that's uh, what that sentence means, but just something to cover the chest. Not really full, full plated. Maybe some gauntlets. Gauntlet. Gauntlet. You want armor? I think he's asking if you want armor, you could wear around and look imposing in, or surely for practicality. Oh, practicality. Practicality. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Now, uh, what do you, what do you want me to make it out of? What do you got for me that I can, uh, work with? I have a few things. Uh, first thing first, I have this Song Dragon scale. Song Maybe that'll help. Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, this, uh, Hemonite Gem. Hemonite Gem, okay. Too much, but I suppose it'll look pretty. Also, I have this necklace with this weird eye design. It's supposed to be magical, but I don't really want it, so you can toss it in there as, as well. <laughs> this is going to be a really interesting hot piece. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and, and then, it's and just then, medium armor, but it's con completely concentrated as a cod piece. Well, no, he, he said he wanted chest and gauntlets too. I'll, I'll work on that. And then these two pieces of candy that I never ate from Halloween. Want me to forge candy <laughs> into armor? Again, yeah. the cod piece. I'm, well, I'm we, imagine. We, fuck. <laughs> Oh, no, no, the cod beast is going to have a candy on, cane swirl. Let me see here. Let me see here. <laughs> like, and he holds his hand out and is like, okay, give me the candy. Let me, let me take a look at it. Let me see what I can do. Okay, he gives him the candy plus one charisma and the rock, the, the rock, the sugar rock candy. Okay. The sugar rock candy, if I remember correctly, was a healing? No. Or... That was, that was the... Uh, extra attack standard action. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Those look delicious. Well, I, I don't know if I can make it quite as potent as you know, it's meant to be a single it's meant to be like a single use temporary buff. But uh, I suppose I could try messing around and generate some passive effect. Uh, let, let me see that uh, piece of jewelry you said that's, that had something to do with perception or whatnot. Yeah, it, it raises my uh, my awareness. That's at least that's what I gained. That's what I uh, gained from testing it out. He hands it over. Hmm. Well, uh, I don't know if I could uh, if I can put that in armor, but I might be able to make a helmet out of that or something. That'd be great. Okay, I was getting somewhere. Let's maybe see. put the maybe mix that with the 
with the with the with the candy of plus one charisma. No, I, I got a plan for the candy. I got a plan for the candy. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right. Candy. You're please. the man. You're the man. Okay. Now. Uh... Also, <laughs> I don't know why Everlier is so gun ho about Nicholas wearing a goddamn codpiece. Well, they, Everlier was really interested in uh, the Greg knowing that he didn't actually have a sword for a crotch. Uh, by the way, is Emily saying anything about about that? Like, is she in, in, is he just muttering something about the cockpit? He's pretty if much so. just muttering. He's amused. Okay. He hasn't seen you guys in a while. Hmm? He's pretty All happy right, to sort of chill and watch and offer <laughs> advice. Otherwise he'd because otherwise he'd be pretty creeped out by him by now. For Why would he be creeped out by Evelier? How is Evelier creepy? I, I fail to see how oh Evelier is creepy. I mean I if 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 he went on with the with the thing about the cod piece, he'd be creeped out. However, since he isn't and is just being amused by it, he's not. You see what I'm saying? I see yeah. what you're saying, and by the way, I was giving you shit. <laughs> I mean, you're getting advice from a Wisdom 8 Eladrin? That's gonna be weird advice. <laughs> That's only slightly below average. Slightly below average? Well, no, I suppose not slightly, but... Oh, chest. Clash Royale. Clash Royale? What is it a Clash Royale with cheese? Everything oh is God. with cheese. Everything can be cheese if you work hard enough at it. Oh, nice. So, I, do I just wait for you, or...? Well, I need to know a few more things. Like, uh, what do you want me to do with the glove? Is there anything specific you want to impart upon me? Oh. No, no, that was just it. The gloves are uh, Anders. Wait, what? No, you said you wanted gloves as part of this, uh, get up you want me to make. Oh, the gauntlets. Um, uh, hmm. Maybe yeah, maybe make something of uh, with the with the rock skull candy. I'm with the with the rock candy. Okay, let me be a little creative about this. I love how I'm making him progressively more slurred as we go along. <laughs> Here, have a drink. Ah, thank you. The drunkest. You gotta be drunk when you when you build something. Ah, it's been too long since I've been able to partake in a good drink. Enjoy, enjoy my drink. It makes it's, it's the creative juices flowing, you know. Hmm. Well, I can't wait to see how this goes. Okay. So. All right, all right. I got I got the plans together. Throw everything you're gonna throw into the into the into the forge. All right. One by one, he throws in the gem, the can both candies, the necklace, and the and the dragon skill. Oh, by the way, he pulls out a small knife and throws it in as well. Okay. For good for good measure. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. So he gets to work hammering out the metal. Oh. 
gets to work casting the metal into a base shape and then hammering it out and shape. And he's actually working pretty fast before you're at is despite the fact that he's very drunk, his hammer through blows are very precise. Peace. Is it? Alright. Eventually, he holds up a cup. He waddles over to you with a couple of items in his, his hands, and Gate just logged out of roll 20. You okay, I'm sorry Gate? about that. I'm, uh, I'm refreshing the roll 20. Everything's going slowly for some reason. Ah, okay. Want to make sure that you were okay, man. Yeah, my in my internet's going a little wonky, but I think I can still. Uh, the Discord seems fine, though. Strangely enough. Okay. The first, he hands you the chest piece. Like, hey, all right. I gave. Use the dragon scales in forging this part. Dragon scales give you a small resistance to electricity. Also, once per day, they will grant you a bonus on performance checks. I don't know why I'm using Gibraltz for some mannerism I'm speaking to explain how these work mechanically. <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay, deleting the dragon scale from my inventory and adding it. Yeah. All right. What else? Next, next comes this. He holds. He holds up the card piece. <laughs> this, yeah, I call it the card piece of charisma. <laughs> this is what the candy went into. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Once per day, you get advantage on on any charisma based check. Deck. This is the one that he rolled the best on. The cod piece. <laughs> Hang on. Cod piece. Of charisma. Of charisma. Charisma. guys. Straight to it. Hang on. Gotta delete the rock can the candy plus one charisma. Alright, what else? Okay, uh, let's see here. Now, unfortunately, the rock candy didn't do so good. It, it just kind of melted. I'm, I'm sorry. I think you. I think it. Lost, I think I lost that effect. Sorry. Uh, it's a lot of sorry, it. What? He lost the uh, rock candy. The rock candy did not manage to impart any of its special properties. Eh, don't worry about it. Do you still give me some gauntlets? Yes, you do get good gloves, and on the right hand glove is the hematite gym. Cool. Cool. I'll just uh I'll just group it with the dragon scale chest piece. And... Straight up not letting me back into the roll twenty, goddamn. What else? Is that it? Oh you asked for? Oh, wait, 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 hold on. He, yeah, the, he rummages the around pit. in his pocket and pulls out a light heat uh, capped helmet it with a with a visor as part of it. It's like, I was able to transfer the enchantment from the, the, jewel, from the uh, jewelry that you gave me into this helmet. Cool. Do you know what it does? It still just gives me per uh, perception, Jim? Yes. Okay. That one was just a straight transfer, except now it's a beat armor. Awesome. I love it. No, I'm not a dwarf. Don't be racist. Well, thanks. Um, I forgot your name. Gabrolt. 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 Yes, I am Gabolt. I'm getting progressively more slurred the longer I play as him. Chris, you gotta reset, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do a soft reset for a shiny Gabrolt. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon jokes. 
Okay. Hmm. So. Um, and the metal from the knife that you threw, threw in to kind of help help add to the metal work that he needed, so. so All like, right. Okay, uh, well, now where's my pay? Uh, how much is it? How much do you think it's worth? Give me a second. He goes over to somewhere that hides his full body and starts taking off his uh, pants. Why are you and taking then off your pants? Then putting on the codpiece, then pulls back up his pants and walks back out. Codpiece goes over the pants. So now it just looks like... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, unorthodox, but I suppose it works. Two of them who realize that's just gonna pinch your, pinch your, uh, sausages and there. Don't worry about it. I'll work on it later. So about, about money. Roll a dexterity save because you are putting raw metal right next to the area. Raw, uh, raw metal with joints. There's a reason that you never put armor on underneath the mm, clothing. I'm going to re-roll that with my lucky trait. Okay. Yeah, that, that's apparently uh, one of the feats. That's just the thing halfling sometimes. Oh god, that. that's that's worse. Yep, yeah, but you have to use the new roll. Yep. Well, I was going to say with a 9, you're a bit uncomfortable, but you're not actually hurting anything. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's chilly, it's cold. Metal. Oh. Don't worry, your body heat will warm it up eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, about the payment. Uh... I'll give you 300 silvers. Alright, let me roll something. Deal! Really? Okay. He rolled a 2. Eight. He thinks that's good. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, uh, you did provide all of the materials. Yeah, uh, he... He takes out a bag of the 200, uh, silver. Well, you're doing business with you. Now I'm gonna go adjust this cod piece. You do that. Alright, who's next? What, what can the old Gabrolt forge for you? Hmm. How, how good are you at staves? Staves? The what the save? In staff? There yes, we go, staff. that. Well, singular, sure. He thinks that the singular, that the plural of staff is tabs. Yes, I would like ooh, a staff. Okay, what, what kind of staff? Uh, what? preferably one that does things. Oh, okay. Takes a Length of metal hands it to you. Here, a walking stick. It does the thing of being a walking stick. That, um. That's, not, that's really not gonna cut it. Uh. Well, you gotta tell me what you want it to do. Hmm. I need some. I need something to work off of. Do you think you could make a staff that could, uh. potentially turn into a. turn into something else? Uh, as for Jack's query, I'll get back to you on that. I need to know exactly what kind of thing he was making. Breastplate, halfplate, what, what did you have to make? Oh! Wow! There is, there's actually dragon scale mail. That is... F fucking, uh... Yeah, it's very rare, apparently. Yeah, that's, that's way up in there in the fucking... Tier list, I guess, so we call it. 
Yes. Because then with that, you'd be able to detect the presence of the same type of dragon, and then go find it, and then, whoa. Ooh. Well, you don't have enough scales to make that. <laughs> yeah, a, sing a singular scale, and I probably won't fucking complete a whole set. Holy goodness. Uh, what was I? Okay, oh. well, well, what do you want it to turn into? A different weapon? Rope? Or what do you want it to become? Hmm. But potentially, uh, potentially an animal, or uh, either help me with spell casting, or uh, turn into a rope, as you said. That okay. actually sounds pretty useful. Tell me what materials you got. Okay. Brainstorm that. Workshop it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I have. I hope I can open up my sheet. Oh, good, good. Um, I have a. Uh, a song dragon scale similar to what he had. Uh, I have this strange book uh, I got one time. Twelve pounds of copper, black jasper, and this pendant I stole one time. Look inside, you can see this uh, this uh, this grandmother and her granddaughter. Wait, is that the is that the pendant from from Little Red House? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> that was in character, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Emily is thinking the exact same thing. Like, wait, don't I recognize that? Yes, you uh, do. That's a, uh, that's a that's a completely different uh, one. Roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> That's a completely separate grandmother and and, and <laughs> grand. <laughs> okay, now Evelier has to roll insight versus that. All right, I'm gonna do it because I don't believe him. <laughs> <laughs> they believe. I think we want to believe him. What? I think we want to believe him. <laughs> I, I didn't see the rules pop up. Where were they? And Emily got a two, two, and so did I. They both rolled two. I don't know why Emily rolled twice, but they did. But yeah. That's the double click. I I'm going mm. by the first roll. Doesn't matter, the second roll wouldn't be high enough, anyways. They both rolled yeah. a two. I think we want to believe him. We're just like, yeah, okay, it's better than the alternative. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it! Okay, uh, so what I'm going to throw in is uh, that, uh, the Song Dragon Scale. Uh, for the hell of it, I'm going to throw the rest of my Assassin uh, Blood Dose uh, wine into there, that Dark Souls book, the 12 pounds of copper, and the Black Jasper. Okay, okay. I, uh, let, me, let me think about this real quick. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm? Okay, 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 okay. He throws his arm around you and is like, okay, okay, okay. And he pokes the nose of the uh, wolf. So it's like, give me out, I got an idea. I got an idea. Give you what? I got an idea. Oh, he wants your hood, and, uh, Ander. No, I, I, I have you an, idea, an idea. An idea. Okay. Okay. I take off the wolf hood and give it to him. You mean that wasn't your real face? Nope. He thought that you were the wolf skull creature the whole time. He didn't realize you were a halfling. <laughs> uh. This is a really good disguise. I should have kept it. I think he realized that. Okay. Oh. Stay with me here. Okay. What if... Dragon Staff... Okay. That turns into... Okay. A pseudo-dragon. A but what? Not a real dragon? one. One made of copper, but it'd be animated. And with its bite, it could, it could deliver the poison. You know what? Yeah, that sounds fun. Let's try that. Okay, okay. Here, throw it into the 
Move on. Throw it in. I need to get to work. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start tossing all this stuff. Uh, w w uh, this is not at all the voice I gave him last time. I just realized. I it's it's, it's getting deeper. Like you're 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 tr the the voice is going into some sort of abyssal state, and soon it'll take a life of its own and take over the world. <laughs> what the fuck? That's just what we need. Uh, Isn't that Abner's so... origin story? Hmm? Isn't that Abner's origin story? <laughs> uh, I, I wrote something completely different, but if uh, you want me to grab that one, sure. I'm, be I'm being silly. I'm being... <laughs> <laughs> Ander was actually a voice at some point, but then he became an existence. Oh no. <laughs> Did I just accidentally retcon your backstory? <laughs> I'll think about it. Uh, okay. So, you, tell me everything you're handing over for specifically. Okay. Uh, I'll even type it to you too, whilst I'm saying uh, the strong dragon scale. Okay. Uh, the inexplicable twelve pounds of copper I think I got from one of the dungeons. Like, like not even coins, just literally twelve pounds of copper. Copper ingots. Yeah. Uh, black jasper. Uh, that uh, weird Dark Souls book I got from the uh, that paladin place. Church. Or the, was it the church or the paladin place? Uh, yes. Those are two different places. Either one of those, really. And the uh, the Pendant uh, of Red Riding Hood, which I'm pretty sure has no magical properties other than the emotional value it has mm -hmm. taken away from this poor family. And um, Poisoned Wine. Okay. So, Gabralt takes the copper, throws it in the, the lava of the forge, and then he drops in the black jasper, or Thumbs through the book, book a few times, is like, I can't read this. And then chucks it into the flames. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read this. Yeet. He, he takes the, uh, he takes the poisoned wine and pours it out into the, the lava as well. It hisses and sizzles and whatnot. And then he looks at it and he's like, this bitch empty. Eat. And he throws the black, the uh, bottle into the lava as well. <laughs> <laughs> and he takes the pendant and he just drops it in with a. Okay. The forge rumbles for a second and then spits out about a length of copper, which he immediately gets to work on. On. Soon enough, it it resembles the form of a drag, of a pseudo dragon that is coiled around the head of a walking. It. Ooh. With its tail curling down around the base of it. it. Eyes of the head of the suit of dragon are a piece of black jasper. Yes! That is cool as shit. So yes, Jap, you, you actually read my mind when what I was intending to do with that. Nice. Very but, nice. Okay, it's yours. About payment. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Nicholas slings down and whispers to him, Do you need the cod piece? Uh, no, I don't need. I, I really don't. Please, no. <laughs> it's, it's already it's been in your you. pants. <laughs> it has already been in your pants, too. <laughs> or even right. It's already been on uh, the inside of his pants, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I will give you... 500 silver. Deal. Okay. He's rolling very poorly on his... He to... On his, uh, haggling check. Well, admittedly, this is the first time he's ever even been paid for his work. Yeah, he's kind of just been indentured servant. In his entire I was gonna life. say, do you really need to pay him? Asking. Okay. Also, so... also, it'd be rude not to pay him. 
Oswego Trappist. Okay. Okay. I don't know how this works. As you run your finger over the edge of the edge of the pseudo dragon, it suddenly becomes animate and uncoils from the act from the base of from the top of it. It then looks over at you and gives a musical ch sort of trill chirp, chirp and like rub and like then scampers down the staff along your arm up to your shoulder to like stare to get a good look at you in the eye. It tilts its head a few times, then it rubs its up against the door. Huh? Make sure it's grandma. That's fucking adorable. That oh yeah, that why did you uh, get a cute pet? That because I put that bandit in there. Alright, fair enough. I already have a cute pet. He take uh he takes that boot from his pocket and shows him shows him. Take out what? From your pocket? Boom. Please put that <laughs> I can't hear you. Ooh, you're coming in too garbled. The pet mouse from his inventory it was given to him by his background. Okay. I'd like to note that you are wearing a cop piece underneath your pants, which you are <coughs> keeping a pet mouse inside. <laughs> what? And boom. Oh, he is adorable. You pulled a Man. pet mouse. I have a pocket of pants that have a cod piece on the inside of them. Boone is apparently a very lucky mouse to not have gotten squished by that. Yeah, he's, uh... He's... He knows how to get around. And here I am, just with a cranky pixie. Oh. Oh, neat. Evely, you suddenly... You feel a chill down your spine as it, if the pixie knows you're shit talking it. <laughs> I'll have Boone um, run up my my arm and into my shirt. Mouse in your shirt now. Yep. You know what's weird? You're still the most normal of anyone in this party. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're the closest thing to a normal person in this entire party. How does how is that even possible? Well, let me just gesture towards Ander and then gesture towards the towards Evelier, who is standing here wearing clothing made of literal plants. Okay, what about Claire? She seems pretty normal. Claire Worker is a, a cleric of Varen. Let that sink. For a moment. So wait, did All he right. take did he take my hoodie or is that just the thing he poked? That was just the thing he poked. He didn't actually take it away from you. Well I'm putting it back on. Pseudo dragon in in uh the the animated pseudo dragon in in uh staff if squeaks in surprise at this and goes back to the staff, coils up and returns to uh non unmoved state. Huh. Very interesting. Startled it. Did me a spook it, I did. Can I hit people with it? <laughs> I mean, it's proper, so don't hit too hard, but yeah. Okay. Most interesting. <laughs> Evelyn takes a few steps away from you. <laughs> That's probably wise. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to hit you. Really? That would be rude of me. Oh no, I'm never convinced. I shouldn't be a popular target for that sort of thing. Uh, one moment. Well... Uh, Nicholas now has his his armor on him. Oh, God. But, but he has a new armor on, which I'll have to add it when I update his pog again. I might just ask um, right, Dal to make one. Uh, not up for it. 
Hey, welcome back. What can so uh Alright, so Abner's now got a fancy staff. Mm-hmm. Uh anyone else wanna forge anything thing right now or no? Um Yeah, Valir, do you wanna throw in for the crafting? Huh? I'm afraid I don't have much to throw in for crafting. Except the song dragons. Oh, well, well, we'll have to rectify that. Let's grab some goblins for you, and then... <laughs> I'm sorry. As much as I don't mind goblins dying, I don't want to exactly wear gear made from goblins. Oh, the bro well, just don't, looks don't, up at don't make it an like... armor. Make it, a, make it a weapon of some sort. I have a spare short sword. The, the bro just is slowly looking up at Evelier and is like, has that kind of, well, screw you too look on his face. <laughs> okay. Evelyn occasionally remembers that he's in a laundry. <laughs> oh. Does, oh does, this, uh, does this forge just work on goblins, or can other entities go in? Yes. Neat. Nicholas steps loud, takes the time to step away from Ander. <laughs> I, oh, no, 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 don't worry about it. I wasn't going to toss you in right now. I was merely <laughs> suggesting that we find some, uh, perhaps some dangerous animals or horrible people to chuck in there. Why don't, animals, why don't we chuck like, the overlord in there? The, the, the overlord? The old the overlord. He burst into dark mist. Well, that's just plain rude. How could he not leave his corpse behind? Well, he left, like, charred bits of armor. Or, but... Let's go get that! Yeah, and Dark it's Mist was only rated, after... like, 6 out of 10. Uh... It's not very good quality after, you know, he kind of erupted with his death throws and whatnot. Don't worry, I, I'm just gonna throw in that along with this leather armor, the second leather armor I apparently have. Okay. So you run right. to the arena to gather up the remaining bits of armor of the the old overlord to toss into the forge. Yep. Hey, uh, what was his name again? God damn, I can't remember. Whose name? The the black Gobert. Gobert. Go Go the bolt. Go the bolt. bolt. Hey, the bolt! I look what I found. He the holds bolt. up the. There's an R the in bolt. there. The bolt. The bolt. Look, look what I found. He holds up the remains of the previous overlord. Oh yeah, I made that. He throws it in, in the forge and throws uh, an, a leather armor. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing look, some, of his own, some of his personal handiwork. Look, just make it into something else and I'll pay you. Okay, okay. Uh, let me see. I don't know what property the the armor had, but um, I don't know if it if it does. Now let me look at see what the what option. Should I throw in a potion of healing? I have one. Up to you. Hmm. Nah, I won't. Though I will throw in my last candy, which gives temporary five hit points. Okay. Alright, so he smiths it out, and out comes a half plate. And. Holy perception. Perception. Or insight, whichever you want. Uh, perception. Oh, nice. This is friggin' evil armor. How evil are we talking about? You know the, how the Overlord just kind of, like, 
exhumed an aura of evil around him. Yeah. That just, that kind of soaked into his armor, and so now the armor itself is evil. If you are an evil aligned character, this would benefit you more. Hmm. Here, Ander. Uh. Ander can't okay, use sure. half plate. <laughs> I actually can use medium armor just as long as it's not made out of metal, is it? Well, yeah. Half plate. Well, I, def I definitely I, can't use this. I threw in leather to mix it, uh, mix it in. Yes, that's why it's a half plate instead of a full plate. Oh, um, let's put some more leather armor in and see what we get. <laughs> you know what? Sure. I'm throwing it back in there and throwing another leather armor I have. What? When did you get two arm leather armors? What the fuck? The, the first looks one at I the had from... The Brault looks the at the pair of I... you and it's just like... I'm not gonna keep doing this if you're, if you're just gonna complain. Don't worry, this is gonna be the last time. I'm fine. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> It just burns. Well, oh, I rolled a one. I'm gonna re I'm gonna use my luck earring. You already did. No, I used my luck feature. You did that? I use no, I use my lucky feature. I didn't use my luck earring. Oh, uh, okay. Let me roll again then. Luck what? Uh, remember when we, uh, when I stole, uh, jewelry from, from a woman in Halloween? Uh huh. They, it was, okay, it was a bunch better. of enchant- Not much better, uh, three. That's yeah, better than one. Well, okay, so, basically the exact same armor comes up, out. Hmm. It's not utterly hmm. destroyed, but you didn't- Managed to make anything better. I have an idea. Let's go find oh. some bears and toss them in with it. <laughs> you know what? Sure, let's go find some bears. <clears throat> well, hold on. Nicholas, are you <laughs> Nicholas, are you sure you're not evil? <laughs> I'm chaotic good. Sure about that, because you're talking about slaughtering random wild animals to make armor and I would also like to note for the druid mm -hmm. you're talking about going out to kill bears mm-hmm that's uh balancing the b balancing the predators and the prey it are can't be one way or the other appropriate right? number of prey you, you huh? do, or are you gonna put some other predator in the bear's place yes Besides, I'm a hunter. You know, it seems sort of weird to go out killing things to make armor none of us intend to actually use. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just from the perspective of what will bards say down the line when you two are long dead. Oh, I don't know. I really want to be involved in that story. Alright, uh, fine. No, I, I doubt anyone would remember me. Yeah. Same Let man. alone sing a whole Frickin' bard song. Trust me, Ender. If someone remembers you, about you shoveling out the stables. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll okay. sell this thing on the black market. I get it's it. Okay, you know where the black market <laughs> is. Uh, there's Sunjo. Also, I can probably sell it to. Uh, the demigod uh, I'm employed to. I'll give you two copper for it. Fifty okay, gold. You could try selling to one of them. Fifty gold, Ander. Damn. Uh, that's a, that's a bit that's a bit rich for my blood. All right, fine. I'll go sell it to you try, the demigod. You could try forging it with some of your blood. Maybe that'll make it cheaper. Sorry, you cut out a bit. Something about blood? You could try forging uh, it with some of your blood. Maybe that would make it cheaper. 
Ooh, that's a good idea. Hmm. You know what? This is this is going on as silly as it can, so why not just hamming it up already? Fine, I'll do it. What are you doing? Uh, I'm I'm putting in my blood. Okay, so you're adding, I take <laughs> you're I take adding all, human take blood out the evil half plate armor. I take out Iscariot, and after, after throwing in, uh, after throwing the armor, take out Iscariot and cut my my hand. The and just, just like, make... oh my god, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> it just let it drip. <laughs> well, that's the chaotic part good. of chaotic good, I guess. I gotta roll to see if you're actually so good for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, let me make some of my blood in. Heck it. <laughs> Have me that knife. Well, actually, no, just cut me. <laughs> All right, here you go, Andrew. I take Andrew's hand and I, I swipe it on the scary <laughs> Emily just pulls out the highest alcohol content booze he has on him and just pours it in. <laughs> Right now it's a flame. Now, now you've got the the forge flaring up because of the alcohol. <laughs> well, this is a wonderful idea. I don't know what you're talking about. Drink. I don't even know what the end result of all this is going to be now. I don't know, but they're acting drunk, so their armor gets drunk. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, <laughs> hold on. I need to. I need to think. I really just fucking around is... with the armor. <laughs> this is some wacky shit. I gotta think. Okay, so blood from a like blood from a chaotic good and blood from a lawful evil and some alcohol. <laughs> oh my god! Probably a really nice dense dwarven ale. Oh god! Okay, That's... hold on, hold on. <laughs> I can't. Emily's just like, I'm not giving my blood up for this. But the armor gets to be as drunk as they're acting. Oh, God. I think I think we should probably calm the fuck down with the forge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You think? You think? You think? <laughs> it's occurred to me. <laughs> you think Sorry, this Susan. is the point where that you need to calm down? <laughs> And I haven't even thought of anything I'd like to use it for yet. There was a, Sorry, okay, hold on. There was a point you clearly should have stopped. But let's keep going anyway, please, and see what happens. That is what's going on here. <laughs> yep, totally. Oh, goodness. I did something similar in my campaign where I had something called Dardo Creek Hats Super Duper Mixy Ultra Forge. And it would mix together whatever two items you put into it. So you dualized. <laughs> dualizing. Huh? Sorry, tail yeah. of reference. I have no <laughs> idea. But... Like, for instance, if they put like an uh, an axe and a net in, it would become like a really sharp <laughs> net. A net of blades. <laughs> also, some oh brothers coughing don't die. Then, this forge yeah. needs the turtles. We need a turtles. Oh god. Wait a minute, you're going to throw in turtles? No! I was just saying, we need a turtles in this game. A like, turtle? turtles! Oh, turtles! With There's a dualizing! For dualizing. Oh, okay. Ugh. And anyways. I lost my train of thought now, okay. Let's get back to trying to figure out what the hell this armor is going to do. <laughs> Becomes a new villain. Okay, it's it's some horrible okay, mix between the armor the comes out, complete with helmet, its legging, jeans, and bracer, and everything. It's still half plate armor, but like the rich smell of the dwarven ale is upon it, and there's like all sorts of ritualistic runes upon. It. 
on it, and you would swear that you could see the eyes and the eye slits of the helmet on it when you look at it out the corner of your eye. You're like it's staring oh. at you. Oh my god, did we actually create a, a fucking living armor? Whoops. Well, I don't know. Could try and find out. Uh, hello? Well, I'm gonna go back upstairs. Have fun with that. Garber does not respond. <laughs> Wanna use any of your skill checks to try and figure out what the heck it is that you just made? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, I guess Arcana? Yeah. Yep. Okay, Evelier, you know what you know what's going on here, and you want none of this. Nicholas? You got mm -hmm. no clue. You just know some weird shit's going on here. Uh, you know what? Okay, okay, little roll arcana. Do you know what's going on, Evelier? Okay, Abner also know what's knows what's going on. Oh. Oh well, oh dear. Are we actually gonna get into combat? This is a... <laughs> okay. This is a profane in half plate armor known as known as Tyrant's Plate. And enchantment on it it's free. the various runes upon it react in the presence of alcohol as as uh, as Galber as a uh, Galbral well, it takes a swig from his hip flat. Yes. Pulse. Pulse with power. Okay. Hail, hello. Uh, Nicholas nudges his... nudges the, the armor with his hand. Check. Doesn't move, but you do hear... Are you okay? Are you living? Do you want me to put you on? I think that would be a bad idea. Anything that deserves profane in its name should probably not be worn. Let's uh, let's put a little note on it, uh, a little caution note on it with some paper, and uh, call it a day. <laughs> Abner apparently puts a sticky note warning: profane armor, do not touch. <laughs> right it's on, fine. right on the forehead of the helmet. <laughs> uh, I turn, I turn, I turn to the goblin uh, blacksmith. Do you have a uh, an armor stand? We got the uh, got the armory. It's, it's one staircase over. All right. Nicholas is gonna pick up the armor and put it out and put it to to a stand. So weird looking. I need to write down <laughs> that you've made this now. <laughs> See if we can find a blanket to put 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 over it. Yeah, come on, guys. I'm gonna go put <laughs> it in, in the armory. It doesn't actually say that. I'm just picturing my mind. And you throw a sheet over it. It's like no, not the blanket. No. <laughs> it's. I, I want to know. It doesn't actually do that. It's like, what do you want for breakfast? A bagel. The souls of the innocent. Two bagels. No. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to figure out, does it desire drink, or is it going to go after people who are drinking? Because that would be evil in Evelyn's mind. So oh, that it has something to do with the drink. Out. The enchantments upon it are react in the presence of alcohol. Oh, it's a good thing no one is drinking. All right, Elvelier. <laughs> Who is meanwhile, not drinking right this second? Meanwhile, Gaborolt is just taking a long swig from a hip flax and just going. Well, it's a good thing we left the the, the blacksmith. Well, we're, we've dealt with this armor in the most responsible manner possible. We should high five ourselves as <laughs> we are great at this. Hold on. There, I high fived myself. It may have looked like a clap, but it wasn't. <laughs> hey, actually, anyway. for this set of characters, that was a fairly responsible response to doing something totally irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, 
This is potentially the most evil thing you've ever created. And we're throwing the blanket over it. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, you know that says something when even Ab Ebner doesn't want it. Yeah, I thought that. <laughs> just, just, I'm gonna put it in a, a stand in an armory, in the armory, put a blanket over it, and stick a Anders sticky note on it. Warning, profane armor, do not touch. Maybe living. Also, is if that you found moving? Room? Please, please walk in room. Well, I think we did a good deed today. Yeah, we had fun for a bit, and then something happened. But we don't need to deal with it. Someone else will. <laughs> I can't wait till the rest of the party finds out about what you did. Uh, all right. So okay, let's all swear a pact to. Pretend we didn't do it. It was someone else. It was already in. It was already in the castle. It was the overlords. Clearly. Yep. Yep. All, all in favor. I got up and had opinions. <laughs> all in favors. I. What do I know? I was never even here. I only just got here. Why would I be imagining it like that? There, yay! There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's let's go. Go where? Where are we going? Uh, We're going to get the bears. <laughs> we, no, no. Why are you still on that? Okay. Fine. Fine. Okay, I do have something that could happen if people are done messing around with the forge. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we For just now. spawned some evil thing now. I think we should stop. <laughs> I got some wishes too. Oh. Take okay. time, guys. Does that take okay. Does that technically make it our child? <laughs> You're now pronouncing Nicholas right. and Abner. You may kiss the halfling. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, it's Anders and Mai's child because it's our blood's in it. That's what I was saying. Nicholas and I'm Abner. I'm just like the godparent. There you go. <laughs> yep. Does that make uh, Gabrolt the midwife? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Cabral just kind of like, eh, and takes another long swig. God. Picnic. Anyway. Alcohol. Picnic. Food. Let's do that. Good idea. Okay, so you're going for food? Yep. Speak of the devil, well, you hear something akin to a doorbell ring out oh, in the castle, though you're not quite sure how. Oh, because doorbells shouldn't have been invented in this plane of existence yet. What was that? Oh, that's uh, quite an odd ringing sound. Knock, knock, dearies. Let me in. Oh, no! Don't let her in. Don't let her in. I come with a housewarming present. Don't let her in. Don't let her in. Don't let her in. I don't the sound of that. Who is that? Um. Uh, no one? That is someone. She seems to be uh, freaking Andrew out. That worries me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess you're busy. I'll just open. I'll just let myself in. No! <laughs> the mysterious invisible entity we can't truly process. The various torches start growing dimmer so that they cast more shadow than light. And coming down the hallway, there's this weird vaguely humanoid-looking figure that's it's kind of walking along, along as if it's an elderly woman. Woman, you see two eyes and a big old smile, and it's like, it, ah, yes, much nicer play. You've done well for yourselves. Ah, come here, spicy boy. Give give Granny Shiv some sugar. Oh God, please save me. I don't got any sugar on me. I'm, uh... Which god are you praying to? <laughs> uh, I am, am sugar-free. Uh, well, the yeah, sugar-free god? Let Granny Shiv fix that for you. <laughs> I got something nice and sweet. Come here. Come here, spicy oh. boy. Oh my Real god. Quick, something just come up. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what is it, Granny? Orange. Huh. All right, that was, that's not so bad. What? They don't all have to be good. True. All right. 
Yeah. Somebody is like peering over the top of Donald's hat. Hmm? I believe it's like peering over the top of Donald's hat. Donald is just kind of like petrified at the moment. Like, oh, a duck. Here, let me roast it up for ya. Make a delicious no, 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 dinner. No, no, no. Right, no, 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 no. This is our friend, Don Ould. Friend's you a strong should... word for you, too. Uh, yeah, alright. Let me. Alright, I suppose I won't, I won't pluck him and roast him then. And if you don't want him roasting. Anyways, keep your blood sugar up, darling. You're a growing young man. And she reaches over and tussles Nicholas's hair. Thank, thank you, Granny Shiv. Welcome. Chod. Now I have met which one. Uh, nothing. Talking about Baron. How is uh, how is that old so and so still doing good in that little prison? Of uh, you could call it that. I do call yeah. it that. That's what it originally was. <laughs> Great. Uh, he, um, uh, he's doing good. Sorry about I that, suppose. Man. I suppose. Uh, as good as a demigod can do. That was hmm. Uh, speaking of which, this is our friend, Evelier. Don't drag me into this. I am dragging you into this. Uh, he grabs her. We're all going grabs, down the pit together. It's such a he grabs skinny his young, arm and drags such a and drags skinny him young thing. Come here. I'll get. I'll warm up some of my means. Some of my stew. Be a nice mean stew. Put some meat on your bones. You hear some <laughs> big curse word in Silman. <laughs> uh, you know what? That's same. a good word. She plucks something out of the air. Air and tosses it into this little casserole dish she has with her. Her, hey, that'll add some kick to the meat. Nice and meat. I don't know what just happened. And something meat. So add it into the stew. What you do with words? Oh, uh, not just words. But words can add, add a nice, nice little kick to the, the dish if you do it right. Here, have some. Um, she holds out, go to a, a small bowl to you. Holds the, the, you take the bowl? Sure. You don't have any <laughs> roots anywhere. I have no real family. Abandon them. Just wander from one party to the next, having trysts with whoever will sleep with you, but you have no real connections. Coming from the stew, by the way. Correct! And he takes a big gulp of it. <laughs> it's tasty. It is indeed a mean stew. Hey, um, yeah, yo, you want seconds? Yeah, sure. It wasn't that mean, but tasted good. All right, then. I need, I need to work on the flavor of this. A power. Hold on, I'm having to come up with insults on the spot. <laughs> yeah, that's always the challenge, because he's pretty happy with himself. God. Just made life for that little girl and her grandmother worse despite all your efforts. You just made worse by your very presence. Sure, that one's not for me, I think. Never mind. You're especially <laughs> bad! <laughs> she got you. Yeah, that didn't go well. But, Sayla, what are you gonna do about it? How I'm going it? to the trough. You traumatized a little girl! If she ever sees you again, she'll stab you! She kind of stabbed me anyway. Did so... she stab one of us? She thought yeah. about it. Yeah, I, yeah, I think she I think, I think she did stab me while I was comforting her. 
Wow. No, I mean, well, they seem like a pretty tough pair. Okay, really? hold on, hold on. Let me add a little kick. It, she pulls Have something it... out from, uh, you're not sure where it comes from, and sprinkles uh, it in the stew, and it's like, will never be remembered. No bards shall sing of you. Songs oh. will be forgotten and never played. The grand oh, scheme of things are insignificant and unremembered. Or finite. I feel like this is about the point the pixie shows up and kicks the stew out of his hand. Okay. <laughs> are, are they? Okay, uh, are you playing as the pixie or am I? Sure, I can try it. So a pixie shows up right beside him and just kicks the stew out of her hand and says, Now you stop that! As his muse, it is my job to make sure his stories are remembered. And she flips it off. This, the stew? There. On the ground? Yeah, she flips the stew off. Well, that was just unnecessary. Okay. <laughs> into subservience to a mortal you're not even sure if you fully like. Hey, you want to know any of these goblins want to look at off the ground? <laughs> Don't get this order wrong. He's mine. I'm not his. Keep telling yourself <laughs> that. Deep down you know the truth. Hey, Emily, uh, how would you feel if I left? Please do. Please. See? I'm totally in charge of this one. Is there any goblins around? Yes. They're all just kind of staring. Alright, uh, I'm gonna turn to this goblin and say, Hey, I'll give you ten silver uh, pieces if you lick that stew off the ground. Oh no, I'll dare you to lick that stew off the ground. I bet you won't do it. You're right. <laughs> I won't. It's gross. It's talking. It ain't natural. Yeah. That's why I'm daring you. Well, you're you're right. I won't dare. I won't do it. I double really dare you. Intriguing trait. I triple dog dare you. I wish I could make food that talks to people. Right, come <laughs> visit Granny. Really nice. Come visit Granny. I'll show you how. It's no big deal. A simple little. Thing. Hmm. Oh, and then devil in. Nice to meet you, Granny Shiv. Very how polite. Okay. He holds up uh, what you presume to be a hand who's held up out as if like, like oh, enchanté and whatnot. But oh. he takes it and very it does the um move to kiss it, but actually kissed your thumb, which was actually a classic way to handle that. Oh. Ugh. Pretty good. That's pretty much a good idea because it's cold, clammy, and you think you feel something in, like slime that's actively moving across the skin. Yeah. Yeah. But when you remove your hand, there is no residue left. Well, that's good. And then I see you all got yourself a nice big house. A lot of stuff in the basement, I'm feeling. Oh, uh, yeah. A lot of stuff. Basement? Oh, you mean the... You mean the forgery? Oh, uh, no. Even that. Oh, there's a, there's another basement? Bro. A, additional basements. Where Did you guys just take goblins? over a keep over a dungeon? Uh, maybe? Hmm, perhaps I just we should- I didn't invite me! Hmm, well, well, we didn't know. Maybe we- Perhaps- Yes, Ander? Perhaps we should crawl through this dungeon. I am a funny careful. After all, this was an overlord. Or king. Or hey. And an overlord before that! And one before uh... that! And so on and so on. There. Do they have a Yeah, question. How do you know that? Any shit. I've been around. Right. Oh. Uh, 
so, Evelyn or Ander, want to go check out that dungeon? Or at least the entrance? I suppose we could at least try to find it. I'm not sure I want to go anywhere dark and cool without Dumbarev's bagpipes helping cheer me up, though. True. Just be careful, Darius. After all, rumor has it, Dragon is somewhere down there during the day. Oh. I'm sure it's just a room. Or maybe not. Huh. I'm pretty sure it's not a rumor. Well, uh, and go give it away everything is gonna happen. Then right away. Where would the fun in your little gonna be? I just told you how it all ends. Hmm. He's got a point. Well, as, as nice as this uh, introduction was, Granny Shiv, we're gonna go see if we can find the dungeon. Oh, introduction? Shit. Nothing. I brought snacks. Of course you did. <laughs> yeah, you eat them all up. Right. Uh, thanks, Granny Shiv. Welcome. Don't eat Granny Shiv. Oh, no. <laughs> Right. Uh, guys, can we go now? Do we sure. really want to just leave her here? Then wander off? Oh, don't worry. Great. I'll make myself right at home. See, she'll make herself right at home. What? <laughs> what <does she> <laughs> say? Okay. You that. Well, I, well, you can't imagine your, your poor old granny living all up on her lonesome nowadays. And you know, Oh my god, she said she, she wants to move it. <laughs> sure. You know what, Granny Shiv? Uh, after we find a dungeon, we can go find you a guest room for you to stay in if you want. I want a nice bay window. And a king-size uh, bay. I like to spread out while I'm, I'm taking naps. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'm in the garden. <laughs> How considerate. I like oh. this one. <laughs> he reaches over and twangs one of the leaves up leaves that are sticking out of evolution. Here. My goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a great leaf, by the way. It'll be such a shame when I agree. Right. Uh, we'll find you a nice room for you to stay in, Granny Shiv, after we come back. Alrighty. Now you take well, care, uh, dear. I'm just gonna right, poke around the tip. With us. I can't fix things up for you. No, no, it's, it's fine. Uh, the goblins oh, will I take insist. care of that. I please. I insist. The goblins will take care of that. We can't cook good. Hey, Tama Tama, you okay with hosting her? Uh, okay. Tamara will be here. And, Ka and Clara. And Claire. And Donald. You're the only one I trust the host. Donald is still petrified. This is a very important guest episode. Just I'm a little one. Oh, yes, so you're just eat you all yes. right up. Don't! <laughs> Evelyn gives Tabatama a playful little kiss and appreciation. Alright. There's a dungeon! <laughs> oh, and one last thing. Do we say hello to Varen in a prison cell for? Prison cell. What? That's what I said bef before. I told you that's what it originally was. Oh right. Literally I remember just a few minutes that. ago. You need to clear out your ears, young man. Yeah, let me get a no, no. tip. No, 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 no,
I'm fine. I I'm just stupid. Heck. Kitchen. So you're saying you didn't know? No, I just no, I just forgot. Interesting. What? Well, I'm gonna go find that dungeon now. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Gotta go yeah, this way. It sounds like an adventure. I'm probably with you, Nicholas. One of the goblins yeah. is like, "Don't you leave us here with her." <laughs> I'll see. I'll see you guys later. Take care of Granny Shiv. She'll be a fantastic guest. Don't I'll see you guys later. Nicholas out. Peace out, baby. Peace. Nicola, Cavalier is so with you. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure you, you got a whole bunch of company here with all of these, all of these wonderful uh, goblins who refuse to lick soup off the floor and has to stay up here. <laughs> Why would you lick soup off the floor? The floor is spotless now, by the way. <laughs> That's a good no question. You think you see something slither? Or, or, from where the soup had <laughs> stew had spilled over to Granny Ship. Oh my god. But you can't truly really love... perceive it. Oh, that's... Um, okay. Alright, turn my head now. Go pretend that that <laughs> monstrosity be against the natural order isn't there. I love our interactions with Granny Ship. <laughs> Shiv is one of my favorite NPCs. <laughs> God. Well, she seems nice. Let's never talk about this Very again. Very nice, dearie. <laughs> Her voice echoes down the on the stairwell as you descend. Yes. She's nice. Let's never talk about that again. Like you're never going to talk about the armor? You will know that we did not talk well, about the Well, we can't throw a blanket over Granny Shiv. <laughs> that just makes her more powerful. <laughs> we need a more powerful blanket. A blanket <laughs> made of light. No, trust me, that won't work. I tried. The world's most powerful blanket. Well, we do have quite the forge available to us. Listen, if you wanna if you wanna forge this uh light pendant in, in the forge to make a blanket, be my guest, it won't work. He hand, he hands him over the light pendant that uh he ha uh the light pendant that he uses to light up. The one that has the the uh command word yeet. Yep. <laughs> the yeet pendant. Most powerful. <laughs> Why would you? Well, okay. From the forge perspective, I get it, but I think you should probably keep the pendant that creates light. All right, fine. Evelyn has super dark vision. Super dark. Anyways, vision. so is there anything else you guys want to do with this session? Hmm. Um. Not really. All right, then I guess we'll call it. All right. All right. It was short, but Jeez. you definitely challenged my creative thinking on the fly. <laughs> well, that was a ball. And now we have a potential flop hook. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yep. Nick, the tyrant slate and and going that you a have dungeon. under a blanket in the armory. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. No, we, we don't. totally do not. Nope, no, we don't. What, what armor? I don't know what you're talking about. We just stashed the Overlord's armor somewhere, so nothing would happen to it. That's it. Yeah, what? just that's what's under that blanket. Yeah. Blanket. Oh, oh no, I can't remember. It seems my memory is uh, blocked by uh, sheets of cloth. <laughs> my one weakness, among uh, several others, I suppose. I successfully have scared Anger twice in this session. I feel <laughs> proud of this accomplishment. Fucking Granny Shiv and whatever the heck that was does unnerve the shit out of Ander, yes. <laughs> I feel like this is an accomplishment. And we proved that Evelyn is kind of hard to insult. <laughs> His familiar caved before he did. <laughs> you know what I what I'm reminded of? 
the Guards of the Galaxy scene when uh, when Drax and Ra uh, Rocket fight, it just Drax is like, he knows nothing of respect. That is true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. That is also true. Anyways, so good night, everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, remember, if you like this series, please support it on Patreon. And if you want to get uh, the artwork done by the person that made several of these lovely tokens that pretty much every NPC uses, is go to the website that's listed on your screen. It's outlined in red. Uh, h https colon forward slash forward slash dragon in nest dash art art dot tumblr dot com forward slash commission info and uh we will see you again in two weeks bye 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 love you all see who knows how many of their posts are still up <laughs>